Hi everyone, it is Elizabeth. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome for those of you who are new. My name is Elizabeth and welcome to my channel. I hope you will subscribe down below to see more videos from me. So pretty much you guys read the title and it is going to be an exciting video with ups and downs because it is going to be college decisions, reactions for 2022. It's actually crazy because when I'm filming this intro, it's still 2021. And you guys already will see in the next clip a bunch of the decisions and my reactions to them. So if you guys are curious about the schools I applied to, I will say them right now. So I did the CSUs and the UCs. And if you guys don't know, I live in California. So that's why I chose these schools. So I did Long Beach State, Fresno State, Sacramento State, and then San Francisco State. So those are for the CSUs. And then for the UCs, I did UCLA, and then UC Riverside, UC Santa Barbara, UC Santa Cruz, UC Davis, UC Merced, and where else? <laughs> UC... Oh my gosh, why am I blinking? Okay, there's two more. Oh, UC Berkeley. How did I forget about that one? UC Berkeley, and I did one more. What is the other one I'm missing? I feel like I'm missing another one. I didn't do UC San Diego just because like, I don't see myself living in San Diego. So like, that's why I didn't do UC San Diego. Wait, let me just like put this down really quick. This is probably so awkward. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to like count and we'll see if I edit this part out or not, but okay. UCLA, UC Riverside, UC Merced, UC Santa Barbara, UC Santa Cruz, UC Berkeley, and oh my gosh, what are the other two I'm forgetting? UC Davis, did I say that? Wait, let me go away. UCLA, UC Riverside, UC Santa Barbara, UC Santa Cruz, UC Merced, UC Davis, UC Berkeley, and UC Irvine. There we go, guys. Yes, UC Irvine. How did I forget about that school? So yeah, I did all of those schools except for UC San Diego, like I said, because I don't see myself living in San Diego. Not that I say like, San Diego is very nice, but I just don't see myself living there. But anyway, this is the intro and I will try not to make this video any longer than it probably will be. So without further ado, enjoy the videos of my reactions to all the decisions that I got from the colleges I applied to. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it. Hope you enjoy. January 20th, 2022, and 
As you guys can tell, I'm in this parking lot. This is my school parking lot, and don't mind the way I look. I just got out of school a little bit ago, but I was so sad that I couldn't like film like an immediate reaction to my acceptance to Fresno State. You guys saw the screenshot. I'll put it on the screen. So yeah, I got accepted into Fresno State, which is really exciting. So this is my second acceptance and I'm really happy because I think she's really nice because it is locally because I live in Fresno so it's local and I can stay in town if I want to so I'm just so happy I got to Fresno State but yeah I was a little sad I couldn't feel my immediate reaction because what happened was that I got the email like during like my first period class and then pretty much like we were outside and then because the bell was going to ring and then I was just getting out my phone and then like in the immediate email you guys saw the screenshot it just said like congratulations Elizabeth and then I looked more into it and it was like for Fresno State so it was really exciting so yeah so so far I've heard from Sacramento you guys saw and from Fresno State now and also the fun part is that it's finally 2022 so yeah anyway that's just my little tangent for the day and i'm just so happy and yes we're in my car so senior year woohoo okay second acceptance so far we're two for two you guys sacramento state and fresno state see you guys in the next reaction
There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, this is my checklist. Pretty cool. And then, like I said, the house thing would actually look pretty cool. And it's just, I think it's just talking about like, what's in there and like, all this fun stuff. So let me show you guys. They have, like, this is the North Village. And this is Hornet Commons. Like the common stuff that you get. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And I guess it talks about like, more about the North Village and like the common areas and like just how there's different sizes of like rooms and all that stuff. That's actually really informative. And I like how they include pictures because let's be honest, pictures make a difference. So they have single, doubles, that's actually pretty cool. I think they have a triple. So I guess it really depends like on the sizing that you decide to live in. And they have bathrooms, elevators, a kitchenette, living room space. So cool. And then it says, let me see if you can cover up my address. Today is February 15th. Oh, bless you, Dad. Today is February 15th. Bless you. <laughs> bless you. Okay. Today is February 15th, 2022. And there has been another decision that has come out. So I'm going to check on it. Let's see what school is it from. I just got an email, but I didn't check it yet. So we'll see. It's another college. Yeah. yeah college let's see i'm about to okay gmail oh okay so california state university long beach <laughs> says long beach okay let's see what long beach says long beach says congratulations they say congratulations it is it it is my privilege to extend you an offer of a mission california state university long beach for fall 2022 so it's very exciting. February 15th, 2022, 4.37 p.m. Just got accepted to Long Beach State. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Woo, congratulations. Yay. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Hi guys, so don't mind the lighting, <laughs> I'm in my car and I just got in my car a little bit ago and it's around like 4.30 and I just, you know, got into my car, finished doing school stuff. So I'm in my car and then I couldn't feel my immediate reaction because I opened up my email and it wasn't anything like from like a different college. Oh, okay, I forgot to say, today's February 17th, my bad, February 17th. 2022 and I was <laughs> looking through my email and then it was from Smith Camp which I don't know if you guys know this but when you apply to Fresno State which you guys know I got accepted to there already when you apply to Fresno State they offer like many scholarships and one of the scholarships is called Smith Camp so I just like saw that like a notification came up so I was just, just opening it and I did not get Smith Camp, and I think I'm sad, but like, I don't think I'm like super, super sad because of the least thing I got into the school, just not the scholarship. So at least it's not the end of the world. And so far, I feel like we're having good options from all the CSUs and I'm just waiting for the UCs mostly. So you guys have been on this journey, hopefully you guys have been finding this video entertaining. 
but yeah so i did not get this make camp scholarship if you guys got it let me know in the comments below because i know in the email they only accepted like 50 students which is you know really hard too especially because i think they had like over 500 applicants so that's just really crazy but yep i just wanted to update on that because i did not get that but yeah, anyway, I will see you guys if there's anything else to update you guys on, college related stuff. So, you guys will see me in the next clip. Hi guys, good morning. I woke up, so that's why I look like a mess. But anyway, today is February 20th. 2022 and i forgot to film a couple days ago when i found this out so i'm just filming this now which you guys probably saw in the previous clip but for sacramento state they got back to me and i actually got into their honors program which is pretty nice so i thought it'd be fun to just update you guys so yeah i thought that was pretty nice especially since you guys remember a couple days ago when i was in the car filming about smith camp i didn't get that but it's nice that i got the sacramento state honors program so that's pretty nice so i thought i would update you guys on that but besides that i haven't heard anything else yet so i will have to wait till march for the ucs or if they come sooner then i will film for you guys but yeah so see you guys in the next clip
Mommy says, join the room. Oh, what are you going to open? I will see. <laughs> it really quick i'm gonna watch the rest of it and then i'll i will update you guys but yeah so exciting you see riverside woohoo okay but anyway i'll watch the rest of the video and then update you guys okay see you guys in the next clip 
Okay, <laughs> I'm back after I finished watching the video. It was really cool. I, the video is basically, I know you guys probably heard a little bit of it. If not, <laughs> I think it was okay. Basically, it's like the chancellor. It was pretty cool. And then he was just talking. Yeah, that was pretty much the video. But so exciting. I don't know. I'm just so happy, honestly, because this is, like I said, the first UC. So it's exciting. Keep you guys updated. Just got into UC Riverside, woo! UC Riverside, this is exciting. Congratulations, woohoo! Got in. Hi guys, okay, so it's still March 2nd, 2022, and right now it's 7, 11 p.m. And I got an email and now from UC Merced. So we got two colleges today. Okay, so UC Merced is office of admission so to check your fall 2022 admission status. So we're gonna check for UC Merced now. Let's see. So you want me to check my portal? Let's see. Let me log in. I have my paper with me, so I have to log in first. Everything's good. Log in. Let's see. I logged in. Oh, it says you did it! Oh, okay, I got to UC Merced. <laughs> okay, let's see. We put uh, this like this way. To accept this offer by submitting your statement of intent to register, see more details. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Say that's my dad. Okay. Wait, let me pause this. I'll come back. Okay, guys. So this is what it said for UC Merced. It said congratulations. It's so cool. Congratulations on your mission. And then up here, it says congratulations on your mission to UC Merced. Woohoo! And I have it till May 1st. So exciting! Yeah, another college. We're two for two for the UCs. Woo! Yeah. Hi. Okay, so today is March 11th, also known as my brother's birthday. So happy birthday, Andrew! My brother's birthday is March 11th, and currently, what time is it? It's 4:30 p.m. on March 11th, and I got an email from Davis. But I'm about to actually open it. I haven't opened it yet, but it's an admission notice. So let's see, you Google. If Google will let me sign in on my dad's computer. Okay, Google, Google, Google. Okay, come on, let's see. Come on, Google. Okay, my Gmail account. Sorry, also this is the chair. I'm not sitting. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hopefully, it's good news and not bad news. <laughs> okay, Gmail. Put my email stuff. Also, my dad's here too. I mean, he's in the background. <laughs> he's on the side. Let's see. It'd be really nice to get to Davis. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm just like, ah, you just want to jump. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys are 
okay with the way I'm recording this? I know it's on my phone. I mean, I've been recording everything on my phone, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, go to Davis. March 18th, 2022, it's 5.24 p.m. and I did not get into UCLA. I was not able to film because I just didn't film right away, but I will show you guys the rejection letter <laughs> really quick. Basically, it just says, Dear Elizabeth, we regret to inform you. For the fall of 2022, we cannot offer you a mission, so. Yeah, rejected, but it's okay. Okay, so it is March 18th still, 2022, 5.52 p.m. And I'm checking UC Irvine right now. Okay, let's see, view update. Rejection! Rejection. Yeah! Man, I got two rejections in one day! Man. Well, I kind of saw it coming because I heard some kids, when they heard from Irvine already, they got like a little ant eater confetti. And I was hoping the ant eater confetti. Oh no. We regret to inform you we were unable to offer you a mission for the fall of 2022 term. You see Irvine, did it get in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, 
Okay, so today is March 22nd, 2022, and it's currently 6 p.m. according to my computer. And today, on March 22nd, you see Santa Barbara is supposed to come out. So, I'm about to click log in. Nervous, but doing all right. Okay, I don't know. I'm scared to click log in. <laughs> okay, all I just gotta do is click it. Okay, three, two, one. Click. Man, is it thank you for applying to University of California State Bar? After careful consideration of your application, I'm sorry to say we are, will be unable to offer you admission. Man, <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't. I don't feel good about Berkeley for Thursday then. We'll see. I can't believe it. It's a little sad, but okay. Well, at least so far, all the UCs I've gotten into, we're starting out strong, and now I feel like we're <laughs> not going strong anymore. It says, yeah, it says we are unable to offer you a mission. Well, it's okay. Dad, I wasn't gonna cry. I can't believe it though. Well, okay, at least one less school. <laughs> I have to like make a decision. So, man, I was really hoping for confetti. <laughs> you see, Santa Barbara, they did a little confetti. It's okay though. Let me show you guys. Right here. Didn't get in, but it's okay. Well, at least we know now, so. Okay, well, it's okay. I'm gonna walk out now. Okay, that's all. <laughs>
Okay guys, so you guys just watched that whole video and I gotta say it's been quite a journey. I think just with like finally getting to like hear back from the colleges and just knowing that like that's what they thought of me through the application process. So I thought it would be fun just to conclude this video for all of you guys and if you guys have any questions about the college admission stuff like you know like application stuff for the CSUs or like for the UCs because those are where I apply to definitely leave them in the comments below and I think for classes wise I'll just tell you guys like right now so my GPA was around like 3.8 to like 4.0 so I feel like that's just I don't know not <laughs> I mean it's not super high like compared to like other people but I feel like it's like a good GPA in my opinion and then for classes I took most of like regular classes for the most part the one AP class I did take was my like junior year which was AP US history so I did that and then my sophomore year, I don't know if you guys have this in your high school, sophomore year, like for one of the main classes I took that like counted as like, I think honors or something like that, it was called like children's lit. So that was interesting. And then, let's see, and then this year I'm taking, well for like English wise, this year I'm taking like rhetoric and composition and I think it's known as like English 1A to get like the college credit for that. So that's the class I'm taking this year as a senior. And then for last year when I was a junior, so wait, did I say uh, so sophomore year? Like I said, I took children's lit. And then junior year, which was last year through online school and basically all of that, I did, well, for English wise, so besides doing like a push, I also did the contemporary issues in education. Like that was like my English class that I took. I don't know if like every high school has those classes like the one I'm mentioning, but in my school district, that's what we had. And then for other stuff, I took most of the regular subjects that you know you have to take in high school. And for art, I actually took art over the summer. And then if you're wondering, wondering about foreign language, I just took Spanish my freshman and sophomore year. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions about like courses and stuff, just leave a comment about it and I will be happy to answer that for you guys. And yeah, so and if you guys are wondering wondering about like the school I'm going to go to, I want to save that for like a different video because I actually at this point in like at this point in time, I actually do have one that I'm like well actually there's two, but I mean there's like one I'm really like wanting to go so i think that's the one i'm one i'm going to like lean towards but i definitely want to do like a college reveal type of video for that so hopefully you guys will stay in tune and get excited for that and yeah so let me know like i said if you guys have any questions i know i keep like talking on and on but it's just so cool that now i can finally upload my own video because i've been watching these videos a lot recently i feel like especially ever since COVID happened, I've been actually starting to like watch more of like of these type of videos on YouTube just to like pass time and just see where like people get into. And for those of you guys who are me this year in high school class of 2022 and for college, we're going to be the class of 2026. I just want to say congratulations to all of you guys for whatever school you guys end up going and like whatever school you guys got into, great job because I just think it's crazy that basically we lost a year with COVID and everything. But what matters is that we were finishing strong and that's what matters. So I hope you guys are excited for high school graduation coming in a couple of months. And yeah. Oh, also I to say, if you guys are wondering for like SAT and ACT score wise, I'm pretty sure I didn't submit it. I mean, I did take it though, but <laughs> I'm not, well, I'll, maybe I'll put the score in the description box below, but the score was not that good to be honest. But I know for the UCs, it was optional. And I heard like from other colleges though, like if you're doing like Stanford, Harvard, or like any like Ivy Leagues, I think they do require SAT still, but 
I think for the UCs, I know for this year, it wasn't really like mandatory you to send in your score. So yeah, I've heard I say that as well. But yeah, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, comment, definitely subscribe because we will have more fun videos to come as I finish up my senior year and then going to college. So I definitely want to keep making videos and all of this fun stuff for you guys. And if you guys are interested, like I said, in certain videos you guys want to know about, then leave it down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Yay. We're done <laughs> with this process. So I'm just so excited. Okay. Anyway, bye guys.